Today, the increase of wealth of the Chinese means that more and more of them now have the capacity, the will, and the freedom to travel across borders. In the bustling heart of Singapore, you can see something that's become commonplace in shopping centers and tourist spots the world over. Chinese shoppers. 50 years ago, an overseas holiday was unimaginable for the majority of Chinese people. In 2018, nearly 150 million of them travel abroad. They spent 277.3 billion US dollars on buying everything from local delicacies to luxury handbags. Chinese travelers have become a major contributor to the global tourism industry. Chinese customer is one of our top nationalities for our network. Yeah, so their buying power is quite strong. Every year you get all the China tourists coming in, Chinese New Year and July, August. And those are my biggest customers. I, I found out through the years that the Chinese market constitutes the biggest. Uh, it's the way, it's the purchasing power, the way they buy. It's huge, huge. Uh, they buy by bags and whatever. Uh, I think they constitute about maybe 60% of my business. A tourist group from China alights from their bus and starts shopping. And so another busy day begins for the shopkeepers. Most stores display signs in Chinese, and an increasing number of them have adopted an innovation that directly caters to their Chinese customers, mobile payment. In recent years, Alibaba and other companies in China have been promoting money transfers via mobile phone. And now, Chinese people are taking their cashless habit everywhere they go. Because uh, we're adopting uh, Alipay in 2017. Yeah, because China, they uh, they prefer cashless, so they, they don't even have cash. <laughs> Locals like Michael Lee have sensed a major opportunity. His company, S-Cash, is working with China's Alibaba to promote mobile payment across Singapore's commercial sector. The industry calls people like Lee QR code planters, since most mobile payments are completed by swiping a QR code. Because of the um, rising um, China tourists outside China, yeah. people are start to looking for good and efficient technology to capture this tourist money. As, as more and more merchants adopt this technology, they realize they have more business than before. In fact, some merchants um, even told us that their sales increased by at least 50% ever since they adopt, because now they have a new, new, new stream of customer. Very good. I'm very happy. How's, I, I see the business has been uh, doing very well. Yes, ever since you gave me this this machine. Uh -huh. Oh, very fun. <laughs> uh -huh. Very good, very good. This is a money sucking machine, man. Uh -huh. Money sucking machine. It's definitely a necessity. Uh, everyone from China, the younger generations, come in and use Alipay like part of the way of life. It's their way of life. And if you don't have it, you, you are not part of their way of life. Simple as that. He now has over a thousand clients in Singapore. Mobile payment is still a relative novelty here, and Lee is working hard to convince shop owners to adopt the technology. But he believes others will soon come on board as more and more Chinese tourists arrive. From 1995 to 2018, the number of Chinese outbound travelers grew by 17% a year on average, and it's been the biggest outbound travel market since 2014.